keyboard shortcuts are going to get you using Excel like a pro. Here's 19 keyboard shortcuts I want you to learn in 2019. Let's get straight into it. Now the download file is available on the website. The link is in the description below the video. Work along with me, learn some of these shortcuts. Now the first one, often when we get a file over email, we have this enable editing uh, box at the top. So you can click there, but let's use a shortcut to do it. Speed it up, Alt F I E. Alt F I E puts us into editing mode. So we don't even need a mouse click there. Secondly, we're gonna get used to navigating the spreadsheet using the arrow keys. So a very simple shortcut here. Just scroll right, scroll down using the arrow keys. This is much more efficient than using the scroll bar. So we're gonna use the arrow keys uh, to move around. Our third shortcut is the F2 key. Not a lot of people know about this. Lots of people when they're interacting with Excel, they're double clicking on cells, double clicking on cells. That double click, you know, it's not efficient, creates a lot of cognitive load. You can just hit the F2 key. Hit the F2 key and it will tell you what's in the cell, put you in formula, formula editing mode. I can see there's a value in this cell. If I go to a formula, hit the F2 key, I can immediately see what cells that formula is working with. So we're using uh, the F2 key there. Now next, the undo shortcut, Control Z. Very, very useful indeed. So say I make a, a, a spelling mistake here, input it into the cell, Control Z allows me to quickly undo what I've done there. Let's move on to number five. So resizing rows and columns. This is another one. You see a lot of people clicking and holding the mouse manually resizing rows. Again, that's creating a lot of cognitive load. We want to avoid that. So let's use Alt H O W to give us the column width dialog box. I can put a value in here and then Alt H O H if we want to adjust row heights. Again, I can put a value in here and much more precise than doing the kind of manual resize using the mouse. We can put actual numbers in there, gives us consistency uh, across those rows and columns. So that's number five. Number six, so let's think about borders here. I'm just gonna readjust this, uh, this column uh, width here. If we wanna put some borders in, well again, you know, you can click around, use the mouse. What's the shortcut? Alt H B A. That's Alt H B A gives us all, gives us all of the borders there. Alt H B A for all of the borders. So that's uh, number six. Now, number seven, the F4 key. This is one of my secret weapons in Excel. This allows us to repeat the last action. So what does that mean? Well, let's suppose I wanted to change the column width of all these columns to, and let's say to 20. I can repeat the last action. I've just set the column width to 20. So if I go to the next column and hit the F4 key, it's gonna repeat the last action. Hit the F4 key, repeat the last action. That's gonna adjust the column width to 20, really cool. Some good applications for this. Well, if you want to highlight some cells uh, on a spreadsheet, you see people doing this quite a lot, manually highlighting cells. Might be something interesting in the cell that you want to highlight. Rather than doing that mouse click, you can do it once, then use the F4 key. Use the F4 key to repeat the last action. You can see I'm easily highlighting those cells there. Control Z to undo those. At the same time, I'm gonna get rid of these borders here. Alt H B N is going to get rid of the borders. N for no borders. So that takes us on to number eight, which is clearing formats. We often get a spreadsheet with some formatting in. We want to clear those formats and people might try to click around, you know, up here to find fonts and things like that to clear the formats. Alt H E F. Alt H E F. We can see I've moved that cell back to the default Excel formatting with Calibri in there. Alt H E F to clear formats only. Control Z to undo that one. That takes us on to number nine. So control and arrows. Again, we're gonna talk about navigation here. So moving to the end of the range, we want to avoid having to scroll down using the mouse. That's gonna take a lot of mental energy. Now control and down cursor. Control and down cursor takes us to the bottom of the range. Control and down. And control up takes us to the top of the range. Control right takes us to the right of the range. Just get, get that into your screenshot. Control right and then control left takes us to the furthest cell left. So really quick navigation. 
Little bonus here, if you do control shift, holding down control shift and hitting the down arrow, that's gonna select the whole range all the way to the bottom. So using control with those arrow keys, that's gonna allow us to navigate really quickly. On to number 10 here, so selecting a whole column. Again, people doing this using mouse clicks, we wanna move away from using the mouse. So control space allows us to select a whole column and control shift allows us to select a whole row. The way I remember that is the shift key is, is long and thin, so it helps us to select a row, which is also kind of long. That's just the way I remember it. So control space to select a column, shift space to select the row there. So that's uh, number 10. Number 11, select region. This is one of my favorites. So select region, well, it's gonna select all of the cells in the range of data. And this is why it's important to try to avoid cells with no entries in. So I can hit Control A here, try it in your download file. Hit Control A, it's gonna select the whole range of cells until it gets to an empty cell. Really fast, certainly must, much faster than trying to do this manually, you know, dragging the mouse around, hit one of the cells, uh, and it works just as well for one of the cells in the middle of the range Control A allows us to select the whole range. Now this shortcut pairs nicely with number 12, which is the short, the sort shortcut, the sort shortcut. So Alt A S S allows us to get that sort box up. But we have to select the data first. So let's use Control A to select the region. Alt A S S allows us to get this sort box up. Um, I'm gonna sort by, let's say sort by first name and very quickly, easily done. Let's see if we can do that without using the mouse at all. So Control A, select the region, Alt A S S gives us this sort box. I'm gonna use the tab key now to tab through the options here. And I've got to first name, just using the tab key, Alt and down cursor, Alt key, down cursor. And I'm gonna say search by uh, sort by age uh, this time. So just hitting OK there and uh, hit the Enter key and we can see we've done the sort there. So we've done a sort without using the mouse at all. How cool is that? Right, let's move on. Delete a row or, or column. This is something you see people doing a lot. Very easily done using shortcuts. So we can just um, select the column. So con control space and then just hit delete and we can delete the contents in, in the cell there. That's if we want to delete the contents. If we want to delete the whole row, then let's go Alt H D C. Alt H D C deletes the whole row. Alt H D R, Alt H D R deletes the whole row. I think I got mixed up between rows and columns there, but you'll get, get what I mean. Alt H D C to delete the column. Alt H D R to delete the row. Don't have to use the mouse really fast. Moving on to paste special, so useful. So this is useful for a number of reasons, but let's just take a cell here. So I'm gonna take this cell and then Control C to copy, and I can see we've got the marching ants around the cell there. Control C to copy, Control Alt and V, holding down the Control Alt keys together, then hitting V. This gives us the paste special uh, formatting box. So many useful and interesting options here. We can just paste the formulas, just paste the formats. We can even take the comments or the cell validation, super useful. Down here, we can even transpose the data, change it from uh, data that's arranged in a row, rows to data that's arranged in columns. We can do that using transpose. Um, some useful ones that I use, let's just take the formatting. So Control C and Control Alt and V. And you could see I navigated to the cell using the arrow keys, Control Alt and V for, for, for pay special, T for formats. You can see Excel underlines the letters here to help us understand what key to press next. T for formats, that's just gonna take the formats across. So get used to using pay special, so many useful options there. So Control Alt V for pay special. Number 15, auto fill down, Control Control D and Control R. Let's suppose we wanna put another formula in here. So I'm gonna add a column, Control Spacebar to select the whole column, then Control Shift Plus, little bonus shortcut there. Control Shift Plus, plus is gonna allow us to put a column in. And we've got over 40 here. Let's say we want another column here. 
to tell if people are over 25. F2 key to edit the cell, over 25, question mark. Then I'm gonna put the formula in here. It's gonna be an F formula. If the age is more than 25, I want a Y to appear. If not, I want an N to appear. So a simple if formula here. Now we wanna copy this formula down. Now you see a lot of people dragging the formula down. That works perfectly well, but that involves quite a precise movement of the mouse. Selecting that little square, dragging it down. How can we avoid that? Auto fill down allows us to avoid that. With auto fill down, we're gonna to have to hold down control and then hold down control and shift rather. In fact, we're just gonna use the arrow keys, hold down shift, hold down shift and select the whole range that you want to copy the cell to. So you can see I've got the cell that contains the thing I want to copy. That's at the beginning of the range. I can now go down to the bottom of the range and then hit control D. Control D is gonna auto fill down. You can see we've brought those formulae down. It works the same if you wanna copy across, auto fill across, control R allows you to do that. The thing to remember is you have to include the cell that you want to copy from in the selection using the shift key and the arrows to select more cells, control D to copy down there. Moving on to uh, number 16, control page up, control page down. Again, navigation, but here we're talking about navigating through a, through a whole file. So hold down the control key and then hit page down. That's gonna allow you to switch to the next sheet. Control page up, control page down. Now, if you don't have a page down and a page up key, and that's often the case on laptops, you may have to hold down the function key as well. On the laptop I'm using today, control and function, I'm holding down, then hitting the down cursor, which also shares the page down function, page down, page up, not particularly exciting, I've only got two sheets in the file. If you've got lots of sheets in the file, control page down, it's gonna allow you to navigate quickly using uh, the keyboard shortcuts. So finally, well, moving to our final section here, number 17 is view grid lines, Alt W V G. That's gonna bring the grid lines back. Alt W V G is gonna remove the grid lines. We've got that beautiful, clean look. Alt W V G to remove the grid lines. And then freeze panes, freeze panes. Well, freeze panes allows us to see the column headers wherever we go in the database, very useful. Alt W F F, in this case, it's gonna switch the panes off because I have the panes on, that's Alt W A F F. If we select, the whole row, shift and space, select the whole row, Alt W F F. It's going to put the panes in above the row that we've selected there. And in this case, I've managed to retain the first name and the surname in the columns too. So you can experiment with the positioning of the active cell to get the right freeze panes effect. Alt W F F allows us to remove them or put them in. Takes us to our final shortcut, number 19, the F12 shortcut and F12 allows us to quickly save the file. So when you're working with Excel, you should be backing up your files a lot. Hit the F F12 key, you can see how many times I've downloaded the file. That's because I've tried to do this video five times and the F12 key allows us to quickly adjust the name of the file and save it as a different file. That means we have a backup the previous version of the file. Okay, okay so that's it. 19 Excel shortcuts for 2019. I hope these help you. They will get you using Excel much more efficiently, much less stress if you can master at least a few of them. I try to learn one a day. Each time I have an Excel session, try to learn a new shortcut. Gradually, it's going to get you using Excel more and more efficiently. I'm Chris from Tiger Spreadsheet Solutions. Thank you for watching this video. If it's helped you, uh, please give it a thumbs up and I'd love to see you in another video on the channel.